Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to talk to you about color contrast in Google Workspace apps. What I show you today will apply to docs, drawings, sheets, slides, and Google Sites. Now, we're talking about color contrast, and if we look at these three choices here, choice one, the text in the background, they're both too dark. Choice two, the text in the background are both too light. On choice three, it's perfect contrast, black and white. The text is light, the background is dark. Now, what happens is in Google Workspace, and I noticed this mostly in slides, we get in trouble when we want to have a little fun and be creative with color. So let's do that. Let me try to make this a green color. So I'll go here, I'll go to text color, and I can choose any one of these, but I'm going to do custom. And like I said, this works across docs, drawing sheets, slides, and sites. I click custom. And let's say I want to go to green color. So I'll move this slider over. And then I'm going to take like a, let me show you, you know, I'll move that over a little bit more and I'll put, all right, I like this green color. Now, every color on the World Wide Web has a six character alphanumeric hex code. Let's just copy that real quick and click OK. Now, I have a strong feeling that this text is too light. This color is too light for the white background. But how do I know for sure? Well, there's a great website. I'll link it below. It's called the Web Aim Color Contrast Checker. And here it has five tests that I like to pass all five uh, and the foreground and background color. So foreground would be your text color. Let's click that, put that in there. And now, oh, it fails all five. The contrast ratio is only 1.32 to one. It wants a seven to one co uh, contrast to pass all five. So let's slide it. You see, you can slide it so I can still get green. I'm just gonna get a darker green. And now we've passed all, we kind of lighten it up a little bit. Yes, 7.07 to one. I copy this, click copy. I go over here. I make that text. Now let's add a custom color and click paste. There we go. Click OK. And now you see it's nice and bright. But this can also happen the other way. So let's change our background to a bit of a darker color or even maybe I'll make the background uh, here. I'll make the uh, background like a dark red. OK. OK. Um, Actually, let's make it a custom dark red. Uh, or we'll just grab that hex code. So I got the hex code right there. Click copy. Click done. Let's go back to web aim. Let's change the background color. And you see it's failing. So I have to lighten it up now. So I can lighten that the other way. Or I could always change this color too. But either way, I'm going to get to a place where it all passes. And we're so close. One more. Yep, there we go. We grab that. Click copy. Now look what we have right now. You see that text is really hidden. Well, again, we go back here. We click custom, click the plus. We paste. There we go. We click OK. And now you see that pops because it's a dark background with a light color. So color contrast, make sure you check in the web, web aim color contrast checker when you're going with a different color or changing up your color schemes. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.